iron represents perhaps the best known example for allotropy in a metal. At atmospheric pressure, there are three allotropic forms of iron, alpha iron aka ferrite, gamma iron aka austenite, and delta iron. At very high pressure, a fourth form exists, called epsilon iron hexaferrum. Some controversial experimental evidence exists for another high pressure form that is stable at very high pressures and temperatures. The phases of iron at atmospheric pressure are important because of the differences in solubility of carbon, forming different types of steel. The high pressure phases of iron are important as models for the solid parts of planetary cores. The inner core of the Earth is generally assumed to consist essentially of a crystalline iron nickel alloy with I micron structure. The outer core surrounding the solid inner core is believed to be composed of liquid iron mixed with nickel and trace amounts of lighter elements. Standard pressure allotropes equals delta iron equals, as molten iron cools down, it solidifies at 1538 degrees Celsius into its I allotrope, which has a body-centered cubic crystal structure. I iron can dissolve as much as 0.09% of carbon by mass at 1,493 degrees Celsius. Gamma iron austenite, I cube Fe, equals. As the iron cools further to 1,394 degrees Celsius its crystal structure changes to a face-centered cubic crystalline structure. In this form it is called gamma iron or austenite. I cubed iron can dissolve considerably more carbon. This I-cubed form of carbon saturation is exhibited in stainless steel. Equals beta iron equals. Beta ferrite and beta iron are obsolete terms for the paramagnetic form of ferrite. The primary phase of low carbon or mild steel and most cast irons at room temperature is ferromagnetic ferrite. As iron or ferritic steel is heated above the critical temperature A2 or Curie temperature of 771 degrees Celsius. The random thermal agitation of the atoms exceeds the oriented magnetic moment of the unpaired electron spins in the 3D shell. The A2 forms the low temperature boundary of the beta ion field in the phase diagram in Figure 1. Beta ferrite is crystallographically identical to alpha ferrite, except for magnetic domains and the expanded body centered cubic lattice parameter as a function of temperature, and is therefore of only minor importance in steel heat treating. For this reason, the beta phase is not usually considered a distinct phase but merely the high temperature end of the alpha phase field. Equals alpha iron slash ferrite equals. At 912 a degree Celsius the crystal structure again becomes BCC as I plus or minus iron is formed. The substance assumes a paramagnetic property. I plus or minus iron can dissolve only a small concentration of carbon. At 770 a degree Celsius. The Curie point, the iron is a fairly soft metal and becomes ferromagnetic. As the iron passes through the Curie temperature there is no change in crystalline structure, but there is a change in the magnetic properties as the magnetic domains become aligned. This is the stable form of iron at room temperature. High pressure allotropes equals epsilon iron slash hexaferrum equals at pressures above approximately 10 GPA and temperatures of a few hundred Kelvin or less. I plus or minus iron changes into a hexagonal close packed structure, which is also known as I micron iron or hexaferrum. The higher temperature I cubed phase also changes into I micron iron, but does so at a higher pressure. Antiferromagnetism in alloys of epsilon Fe with Mn, Os and Ru has been observed. Equals experimental high temperature and pressure equals, an alternate stable form, if it exists may appear at pressures of at least 50 GPA and temperatures of at least 1,500 kelvins. It has been thought to have an orthorhombic or a double HCP structure. As of December 2011, recent and ongoing experiments are being conducted on high-pressure and superdense carbon allotropes. See also, superdense carbon allotropes, allotropy, austenite, curie point, eutectic system, ferrite, tempering. References